Welcome to Living Well Naturally. I'm Dr. Anna Saylor, a KST chiropractor and owner of Van Every Family Chiropractic Center located in Roanoke, Michigan. My patients from three hours old to 103 years young all have one thing in common. They want to feel better. Together, we will share and explore a healthy lifestyle to help you be the best you possible. It is my goal to provide you with information, insight, experience, and motivation that will allow you to feel better and put you on the path to living well naturally. Today, we're going to discuss alternative healing methods, sometimes referred to as complementary complementary medicine. (laughs) These methods promote optimal healing by balancing the mind, body, and spirit and are complementary to Western therapies. We have two guests joining us today. Um, joining me are Dr. Sharon Havis from Havis Chiropractic in Farmington Hills and our massage therapist, Heather Cecil from Van Every Family Chiropractic located in Roy Logue. Welcome, everyone. Hello. 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 So, Sharon, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a chiropractor. I've been practicing for 30 years. Um, I do KST Chiropractic, same as you, for the last nine years. And I also do NAET, which is a natural way to eliminate allergies. And I've been doing that for 16 years. Wonderful. Okay. And Heather? Hi. I've been a massage therapist for going over 13 years. And I also am an instructor um, of massage. um, And I've been at Carnegie Institute for going on six years. Wonderful. So earlier we were talking about a little bit of difference between Eastern and Western medicine. So can you give me your take on what? Sure. Eastern medicine, we look at the whole person um, and what their whole body encompasses, not just their symptoms. Western medicine more deals with their set of symptoms and doesn't look at the whole person, their life, their, their uh, the way they eat, the things that they do, the exercise. So one is more disease-oriented, ori- and then the other is more health-oriented. Okay. Like, as a chiropractor, I'm always, and I know you are, and we're always trying to get to the mm-hmm. root cause of what's going on, yes. not just masking it. Because exactly. right now, everybody seems to be on so many prescription medicines, and, you know, taking, it seems so easy to take a leave and mm-hmm. do something to, you know, I have pain, I'm going to take a pain medicine. And a lot of people don't even know why they're on stuff. I run into clients a lot that will say they're on certain meds and they don't know why. Their doctor just said. Yeah, or they'll come in with a list and they've taken this one, to, but then this one. To counteract can, that one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and they're not reevaluated. Okay. I say, how long have you been on this medication? Oh, I've been on it for years. Why? Doesn't your body change over time? Don't you mm-hmm. change over time? And they don't reevaluate that kind of stuff? That really scares me. Yeah, it is. and I've seen younger and younger. I was just reading an article about kids between the ages of zero and one. They had 300, over 300,000 kids were on Ritalin or antidepressants. I was like, what? That's, yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Um, under the age of one. Like, okay. That's really scary. It kids is. need to be kids. Mm-hmm. So let's talk a little bit about um, more the differences with you, with, a little bit more with the Chinese medicine, right? Um, well, I'm not an acupuncturist. Part of my certification to do NAET was the, to be certified in the theory and diagnosis of traditional Chinese medicine. Okay. And that's all about looking at the body holistically. There are different elements that they include, and um, so they want to balance out those elements, and they want to make sure that the whole person is addressed, not just what their symptom is. Okay. And then you have some other ideas, too, with massage and connections, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. um, You know, a lot of times there's things that posturally are going on, deviations, how we carry ourselves. Being self-aware is huge. I mean, really, that's like a number one, because a lot of times there's um, sports. Maybe we're, you know, played 20 years ago that we're not thinking might be right now kind of catching up to us. Um, so I think that's why I'm such an advocate for massage and chiropractic and trying more holistically first um, to see if that helps and just try different acupuncture, um, Reiki, energy work, just all that stuff before you just kind of put a Band-Aid on, just saying, oh, I have a pain here. Oh, I don't know what it's from. Okay. So we recently vi- visited Alice Wong's Chinese Natural Therapies in Klaassen to get a look at some different alternative healing treatments. Let's see what she has to say in this short video. My name is Alice. Uh, my company is Alice Huang's Chinese Natural Therapy. We do, like, uh, we call body service to help people 
getting well. We do acupuncture, uh, medical massage, carping, guasa, like uh, nature therapies. Just say hope people. People do have an idea to always put a car going to get a car service. But uh, nobody think about the body need a service. You know, everybody can get a blockage when you find your system. Your organ always get a not a balance. Then my job is to help people balance your five organ. Also help your body open out the system for all the blockage. I hurt my back probably about two years ago and um, I've done the traditional method of healing, I guess. I've gone to a physical therapist, a couple different sessions, and I've gone to a chiropractor, so they didn't know why my back hurt. Uh, it shouldn't hurt, but it does, and so they didn't have an answer. So that's why I sought out something other than what we call traditional medicine. I had a session with acupuncture today, and then uh, they've done some massage therapy, and then the coping. Um, it felt good, and it feels good right now after the fact. Today, Ashley is coming. She wants to hope her allergy and the sinus problem. Then we get a, a consultation. I find out she feels so weak, no energy. Also, she feels last year, feels this year. Now she's on the table to get acupuncture. This is acupuncture Lilo's. Lilo's just like a key, you know? They put people's each points. Body had more than 700 points. We into each points to unlock. You know, unlock or we give people power. This needles do. We call needles, I call it key to open your body system. You locked, always people get locked. The needles can open for all the, all the problem with your needles. They can give you all the help. The after acupuncture, people always feel comfortable and more uh, um, more relaxed. Uh, also, we help people mentally. I want to help people, you know, get out of drugs and the medicine do nature way. So, I'll have to admit, I'm a little afraid of needles. So this, I was supposed to go try it and I just couldn't do it. So have you had acupuncture? I have okay. and the needles do not hurt. Okay. If they're inserted correctly, it doesn't hurt. But you can affect the meridians just by acupressure. Okay. So that's what we do in NAET because I am a chiropractor and I don't need all, I affect the meridians by rubbing the certain points. Okay. But it's all about bringing the body into balance. Yes, like she made a comment about you know car going for service, and um, like for us, we always are saying if you can, you know, my analogy is you know you can drive your car and your engine light goes on, and you can keep driving if you pull out a band aid and stick it over the light, and it just you don't see the light, and you can drive for a day, a month, a year. Why is your engine light on? And that's part of what we do as chiropractors too, or as a massage therapist. Like, why are you having that symptom, or why are you having it to find out the cause of it. So, have you had acupuncture? I have, I okay. have. I'm just like you, where I was like, ooh, needles, terrified, <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. Um, when I worked at Beaumont doing massage, I, they had an acupuncturist there at the time, and she's like, hey, is there anything bothering you? And I'm like, you know, my elbow was kind of bothering me and my wrist. She's like, do you mind if I put some needles in you? I'm like, all right, I'll try it. I'll try anything. You know, it's better to go there first, you know, mm -hmm. naturally. So, 15 minutes in, gone. Pain was gone. So it was very fascinating. I'm a huge fan. I've had so many clients utilize it and had such good results. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even in one session. Same. So it's, yeah, it's so beautiful. It's nothing to be afraid I of. I know, yeah. I know. But if I'm you just come at me with a needle, I'm like, I'm going to poke you. <laughs> like, I pass out. Like, I took the points and off. And they're very fine. Yeah. The needles are very fine. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. My dad loves it. I mean, I know you've seen my dad for, um, my dad lost both of his legs in a tragic ac accident. And his, it's the one thing that makes a huge difference between chiropractic massage and acupuncture for him. It does. So. With his phantom pain. And yeah. it's awesome that he's had such good results. I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit more. What else would you say the differences between Eastern and Western medicine? What, give me some little more meat to that. Um, I think that 
with Western medicine, they're more focused on giving you a drug for a symptom. And in Eastern medicine, we're more focused on finding what the cause is and looking at you nutritionally. Maybe there's something out of balance with the foods that you're eating, or maybe there's something out of balance with the lack of exercise, or maybe you're dehydrated. And I'm not really sure that they do that with Western medicine. You present with a certain symptom, and pretty much that's what you are. You okay. are that symptom. And they address that by giving you a drug. And if that drug doesn't work, then they give you another drug. And so mm -hmm. pretty much it's just one thing after the other like that, symptom-oriented. But Eastern medicine, we always look at the whole person. What's out of balance in this person causing this set of symptoms? Yeah. Like we talk about the three T's in our practice a lot, you know, trauma, thoughts, and toxins. Mm -hmm. And most people with, with chiropractic, they think, oh, I must have done something. I must have got into a car accident or I must have hit my head or did something very physical. Mm -hmm. And actually, most of the women that come into our practice, especially women, um, it's the thoughts. It's the stress. Mm -hmm. It's the overworking. It's the exhaustion. It's all that other stuff that's out of balance. And so, then they become toxic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then they, you know, the more stressed you are, the less you eat better. And then you, you know, you're not drinking yeah. water. Exercising. Right. Yeah. And we are all individual. I think that's one of the things, too, with the medicine and, and prescribing is they look at it cookie cutter. This symptom is this, so this is what we're going to treat. Where, like you said, there's imbalances and each person is going to be different from you to me to you. Exactly. So that's, you know, we're not cookie cutter. Yeah. Like my husband's a type 1 diabetic and he went carb free about six years ago. And it's not easy and it's not, you know, it's not that easy. And I'll admit that. <laughs> But it cut his insulin down by two thirds, and it was like an automatic thing where a lot of people are not willing to do that. So mm -hmm. he had to look at the, you know, taking making that choice to be mm -hmm. carb free and right. looking at his healthy lifestyle. Well, he probably looked at it as this carb is a toxin to me. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is poison. If I get rid of it, maybe my body can be healthier. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it does. It definitely is a poison. Yeah. So. What, what about, let's talk a little bit more about toxins then, too. How would you advise a patient? Like, what do you, what's your advice on, like, healthier food? Well, I always suggest organic. And if you can't get organic, maybe that it would be local, locally grown. And know the farmer. Because, in my opinion, genetically modified foods are really bad yeah. mm -hmm. and cause a lot of harm. Okay. Um, so I would suggest that first. People say that organic is too expensive. Not really. Not when your health is the issue. Yeah. So um, I would always go local, organic, and, you know, start small. You don't have to switch over everything. But especially fruits and vegetables, I would definitely start with that. Okay. What about you, Heather? Yeah, and just like less processed. You know, it's like things are so processed and like ingredients. I'm always a big person like looking at ingredients. If there's like a, a story behind like what you're buying, it's yeah. like, okay, so more minimal with the ingredients. And I do believe in the organic as well. I'm a big believer in that. And buying local too, you're supporting also your you know, local businesses as well. So it's all around really good. Well, and sometimes like as a, like a working mom, you know, you sacrifice some of the convenience and health issues. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I'll admit that, like we bought yeah. these um, cheeseburgers from Costco and I thought they were in the freezer, no big deal. Well, they stay in your refrigerator for up to two weeks. Right. And I had no idea that you, like, <laughs> like really mm -hmm. meat can stay in your refrigerator yeah. for two weeks. And every time my what daughter would eat it, really? it, she would get sick. Oh, yeah. And so we had to throw the whole thing out. Yeah. Like, meat's not made to last mm -hmm. two weeks. Like, what right. is in that? Like, yeah, how gross scary. is that? Yeah. <laughs> it was scary. Like, okay, there's a difference between a frozen piece of meat and right. a refrigerated. Yeah, and how convenient, too, if you're getting sick. Do you know what I right. mean? And so things there, there's a lot more convenient choices or quick choices that are healthy. It's just taking that time. It's not as, we have to prepare it maybe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ahead of time. But It's like, do you want to invest yeah. in health care or in sick care? That's yeah. exactly. kind of the difference there. Right. You know, investing now in your health pays down dividends down the road. Right. Because we have a lot of patients that are in their 90s and 100 and mm -hmm. healthy because they they get chiropractic care and they work out and they're doing what they should. So, mm -hmm. well, wonderful. So we have to take a quick break. So we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> 
Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go! To the Batmobile! Dang it. To the invisible jet! Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure's too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just please, don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Dr. Sharon Havis and Heather Cecil, and we're discussing alternative healing methods. Dr. Havis and I are both KST chiropractors, so let's start with the healing powers of KST. Um, you know, it's a little different. It's chiropractic, but it's a little different technique. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, Dr. Ted Corin, he's the K in KST. He came up with this technique um, did you say 2003? 2003. Okay. Yeah, 2003. Um, from an accident, he was hit on the head with something, and being who he is, he could go to any chiropractor he wanted, and he was not getting any relief. And somebody gave him the Arthur stem and said, go home and fix yourself, which he did, and he made into this fabulous technique. So it's all about asking the body questions about where it needs to be adjusted, and then making the adjustment with the arthrostem. So this is the arthrostem that Dr. Havis is talking about. Um, this is what we use to adjust. So it's a very, very gentle, it looks a little scarier than <laughs> my patients will come in and say, you know, you got that gun you can shoot me with. And it's like, okay, and it gently taps. Right. Um, but it actually gently taps the bones into the right position or the cranial bones or the whatever is out. Any yeah. joint, yes. Any joint in your body. Um, I personally have been, I've been a chiropractor for 17 years, and then I've been doing this for almost nine, and I know you said nine too, right? Over yes. nine. Um, because it just works with the body, and it's amazing. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. And Heather's been with me for, since the beginning too. Yeah. You've been with me. How The transition, yeah. I love it. The KST, I feel for me personally, is way more effective, and it seems a lot of like the patients that I see for massage, they're like have responded lovely to it and feel such a difference more. I think it ties in the mind body connect instead of the manual adjusting. Not that there's not a good place for that too, but um, it doesn't address the the mind yeah. with the body as much. Yeah, the feel. underlying emotional component of exactly. it. Yeah. So, what now? Tell me you because you do a couple different things in your practice too, but you tend to use KST for chiropractic, right? Yes, okay. specifically for chiropractic. It's gentle, it's effective, uh, it doesn't take a toll on my body. When I first started practicing for the first 20 years, I did um, hands-on manipulation. And if you have a high volume practice, that takes a lot of wear and tear on the body. And the way I got into it is that I hurt both my wrists from all that hands-on manipulation. And I was fortunate that Dr. Corrin's office at that time was three miles from my office. And I went to him, and he started to work on me, and I started to get relief. But then I would go back to my office and do the same old technique. And finally, one day, he just said, Sharon, if you want your body to heal, learn my technique. It was like a no-brainer. <laughs> like, of course. And the rest is history. Yes. yes. So I took the seminar, and that Monday, I just started using it. Fortunately, I already had the arthro stem because of the NAAT work that I do. Okay. So it was a very easy transition. And then when I relocated here to Michigan, I just decided that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, because that's primary my practice is KST because we get the results. You know, we hear it all the time where people are like, I've tried everything, even other chiropractic techniques, mm -hmm. and nothing's working. It's not holding as well. And then they finally come to our office and it's like, if, you know, they get the results they need. Right. My story is the same as yours, very similar, but I had fallen down the stairs and really hurt myself. Oh. And I, some days was, I was in more pain than most of my patients, actually. And I got to the point where when I was eight months pregnant, as big as a house, adjusting, <laughs> threw myself out so bad that my maternity leave started that day. And um, I was kept doing research and Dr. Korn's technique kept coming up. And I it actually came to Detroit and I went to the seminar and I kind of was like, okay, let me check this out. I'll, I don't know about this. And I got adjusted on Sunday and I woke up pain-free on Monday. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, awesome. I Sold. you're cooking, <laughs> yeah, right? And that's what we the kind of results we get with our patients too. Mm-hmm. So, which I think is just fabulous. Um, so let's kind of transition because I know we can work on some allergies, but the technique that you do in with KST is NAET. Yes. So let's, talk to me a little bit about that. Okay. NAET stands for Nambruta Pads Allergy Elimination Technique. Dr. Nambruta Pad came up with this technique about 23 years ago. She's a medical doctor, a chiropractor, a nurse, an acupuncturist, and she has her PhD. She's a little busy. Yeah. Yes, a little okay. busy. <laughs> all right. And her theory is that 90% of all illness is an allergy. And if you can eliminate the allergy, then the body becomes well. Okay. So it's based on chiropractic in that we're stimulating the, the nervous system. And it's based on acupuncture in that we are stimulating the meridians. Okay. So basically... We do something called a muscle test, which is a non-invasive way of asking your body questions. And I use an arm because it's convenient. And um, so I look for strength, and then I put the allergen in their hand, and I look for strength again. If their arm goes weak, it means they're allergic or sensitive or intolerant, whatever word you want to use. And so the treatment is tapping on the nervous system while they're holding that and then stimulating the meridians while they're holding it. Then they relax for 20 minutes while their body works with the allergen, not against it. And then I set a little timer, and when the timer goes off, I check their arm again. And if their body has accepted the treatment, their arm will be strong like it is without holding anything. And then we just ask them for 25 hours afterwards to avoid what they were being treated for. And the reason for that is... um, There are 12 major meridians that run through the body, and they work at two-hour intervals, just like a clock. So 12 times 2 is 24. I just add an hour in case their watch is a little different than mine. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And after that, if they're not anaphylactic, which means they don't have a serious life-threatening allergy, then they're free to try it. If they are anaphylactic, I say, please wait till you see me again in case it takes more than one treatment. Okay. And sometimes it takes a little bit more, sometimes it takes less. Is that... Uh, You know, it depends on the person. There are 15 basic allergens that everybody has to be checked and treated for, and these are the building blocks, the vitamins and proteins and minerals that make up everything else. So if some people say, you know, I'm allergic to cats and dogs and weeds and grass and casein and gluten or whatever, those are all made up of vitamins, minerals, and proteins. So we do that first so that when we get to those items, that's when it goes away forever Hmm. because we're not sure which part of the cat or which part of the weed is it that's actually causing this allergy. So the technique itself is really gentle because I know you're using the arthrostem. We use the arthrostem and then as a chiropractor, I don't needle, so I stimulate the meridians just by rubbing on them. Acupressure. Mm, yeah, nice. so it's very gentle. And I, you were just telling us a story about chicken, the, the latest testimonial. <laughs> so let's <laughs> fill in the audience on that. Okay, so I had this young man who comes from Ohio and 15 years old, and he was anaphylactic to chicken. He couldn't have chicken, anything made on a surface where there was chicken, so not in a restaurant. And they would come up once a week. And we went through the whole process, and we got to the point where he was able to... I actually just had him hold the piece of chicken in his mouth. He didn't have to swallow it. Um, And so afterwards, so he knew that he could have chicken. And so he he continued to come in for other allergies, mold and seasonal stuff like that. And I would always ask him, you know, so have you tried chicken yet? And he said, no. I said, but you know that you can. And then a couple weeks ago... I got a text message from his mother saying, I made homemade chicken soup, and he had some for dinner. And he's going out with his friends Friday night and having wings. And now he's eating chicken, whereas before he couldn't even be near it. So it's fabulous. I mean, it really changes people's lives. And that's so cool. Like, it is. Because it seems like so many people have allergies right now, and so many people are getting allergic to a lot of different things. Absolutely. And, okay. you know, we're, being in chiropractic school, we are taught that chiropractic can fix everything. And a lot of people do respond, but not everything, yeah. not everyone. And so combining the chiropractic with the acupuncture, I think it makes the healing a lot easier. It builds up the immune system, 
and it eliminates the allergies. It's just fabulous work. I really love it. Awesome. Uh, and Heather, so yes. you're not just a massage therapist. You also practice Reiki. I do. So people, tell, tell people what Reiki is. So Reiki is a Japanese word. It basically means, so like the, if you break it down, Rei is for um, the energy outside of ourselves and the key is energy within ourselves. Okay. And so everything's made up of energy and it can get thrown off a balance. So basically if you have an illness or you're stressed, um, something's imbalanced within you. And our body's always trying to get back to that balance, that homeostasis, um, to prepare itself um, for the world. And so if we're not listening to that, kind of going back to like the light engine on your car, <laughs> putting a band-aid over it, we're not listening to the signs, not being able to sleep, headaches, just different things like that, that our body has some kind of blockage and is thrown off, then it's just going to get worse and compile. So what Reiki does, because um, we're so go-go, um, it gives... Um, the Reiki practitioner, so myself, the client comes to me, um, they lay down in on a bed, fully clothed, just like a massage room, nice relaxed music and lighting to help give them just kind of a little oasis away from the crazy world. Um, and then I will place my hands either on or just above them in different um, areas, kind of oh, following along the chakras. So we have like the seven chakras in our body okay. where our main sources of energy are housed. So it's just kind of to help them facilitate their own energy balance. So it's kind of like um, if we're you know trying to calm ourselves down, if we're worked up, it's not going to work as easy, but if we have somebody, a friend, come over and kind of lay a hand on an ear and listen, we feel so much better, right? So it's kind of like that kind of thing. It's like they come, relax, take a break, and then I'm just going to help. Just touch is powerful. Okay. Help facilitate yeah. the energy flow. Exactly. Because kind of, we're all kind of working with the same feelings of energy and blockages and mm -hmm. how to keep the body into in balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long would a treatment last then? Well, you could, I would say like anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes. Um, you know, some people like to take like a half hour Reiki, half hour massage, add in for an hour treatment. Um, but an average, I would say mostly I do like an hour for Reiki. Okay. Because, I mean, you have hands of an angel. I, mm, I know that. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Know, uh, just love you. So I can imagine, I've never had a Reiki treatment from you, so I, can't I need one. That. Yes, I know, you do. now that's, that you say this. Yeah, So sure. this, we'll get that all set up this week. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so. That would be great. I would love it. Okay. Yeah. So anything closing-wise that you would like to tell our audience? Um, back to the balance. The thing about allergies is not that people are really allergic to the cat or the dog or the weeds, otherwise everybody would be, okay. but there's something out of balance in their body that's causing this reaction. Okay. So with NAET, we bring that body into balance so that they can be around all those things and not experience symptoms. Nice. And we, not, no one wants symptoms, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> we want to find the core of why you're having a symptom. Exactly. Right. And what about you, Heather? Um, well, I think it's important to be self-aware. That's huge and foremost. So if you're self-aware and just listen to your body, um, we go, go, go so much and take care of everybody else. So if we just kind of stop and listen and take time for ourselves, um, I think that's so important. And try different things um, like chiropractic and massage and Reiki and acupuncture to see if we can, those t headaches, we can get rid of them instead of taking medicine over and over and over um, and convenience isn't really convenient when it's stuff like that do you know what yeah. I mean and so like one of my I think my things I always say is like your body speaks in whispers until it starts screaming at you mm -hmm. and if you listen to the whispers before the scream yeah. it's going to be so much easier so. so much easier I'd like to thank my guests for joining me today and I hope that we have inspired you with new ideas and suggestions. I encourage you to do your own research, whether you find information on the internet or at your local bookstore, it's worth your time. My goal on this show is to provide you with information, insight, experience, and motivation that allow you to feel better and put you on the path to living well naturally. I'm Dr. Anna Saylor, thank you for watching.